1999 Dodge Dakota uh, automatic transmission with 5.2 liters. I'm doing a differential fluid um, uh, replacement or change and the process to do this is is very simple this is the front the, uh, the front differential the rear differential is all the way back there all right and that's been serviced before so we're, I'm not servicing that today what I'm servicing is this right here um, this front differential and the process to take the cover off which is this right here this is a, this is a simple just simple cover it does not have a drain plug it only has a, a fill plug which is right here that's the fill plug but this is it it's simple it's just um, taking the bolt bolts off and on the Dakota as you can see there's like there is the um, this right here which is which is the um, stabilizer, uh, the stabilizer bar or sway bar and this up here is the idler bar for the um, power steering um, outer tie rods and inner tie rods and well this only has well it does have outer inner and outer tie rods this right here so and sometimes um, if your if your tires or your wheels are straight this bar right here will be closer to the differential and so it looks like you can't take the cover off uh, if without removing this bar right here but you don't have to remove this bar right here. All, the, o the only thing you have to do is turn your wheels to, uh, to the left, all the way to the left. And what that does it's, is um, it frees up uh, or that makes more space for you to just slide out that cover on the differential. Uh, for the 1999 Dodge Dakota and um, in other years it's it's the same process and it's, it's the same thing like that you only you only have to unbolt it and on this right here you you don't see where to like pry pry it off because it's sealed with uh, the RTV gasket which is the one for differential which is strong and you don't see where to like pry it off the the cover and what you do is on yours these holes right here there are two there's one and there's another one they are on the sides of the the differential and and the cover of the differential just goes right on top of it like this right but you sometimes you maybe you won't see this because it might be plugged with RTV gasket or the the, the, the gasket maker or sealer what you have to do is just get a screwdriver or something that can fit underneath the the cover you might not be able to see the hole like there you might not be able to see like there's a hole in there but there is a hole you just have to take out some of the 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 RTV gasket and then you put in a a screwdriver or something that you can use to pry it off on this side right here you might not be able to do that because the um the, the the axle is right is right here so uh, you can't you can't put in something to, to pry it off unless you have something that um that has like a it's like a hook or something but it, it's strong because this is very strong you can't take it off with like normal hooks those will break but um you don't have, you don't need to use both of them you only need to use one of them because the the cover is strong it's it's metal it's, it's not aluminum on these if it if on yours is aluminum then you have to be careful with those because they might break but on this one it's just metal straight like um it's it's strong and so you just put a uh, pry bar here or a something small but strong to pry this off just pry it off a little bit until you see fluid coming out 
and you have to have your your catch pan or catch um yeah your catch pan underneath it when you're prying it off because it's going to be dripping and uh, just pry it off a little bit until you get all of the oil out or the fluid then you just take um one tip here is when you take all of the the bolts out leave one in the one up here the one on top so that when you prying off the the cover it does not fall off on you and just splash all of the the, the oil like on the on the ground you just leave one just unbolt it but leave a, a couple of threads in so it does not fall on you while you're prying off of it that way um it's a clean job and you don't you don't um you don't get covered with 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 fluid right and also in here um if you see like like uh, a lot of debris or or your your differential makes a noise or like a grinding noise or a humming noise or something like that and you see a lot of debris in here um, then it might be good to 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 service or replace your uh, service or replace your front differential or your differential um, but on this one it's clean there is no not much debris and down here it's just as you can see the oil there's no like uh, metal shaving and things like that so this differential is good it just um, needed a service because it's never been serviced this truck has about 150,000 miles on it so that's what I'm doing on it and um, as you can see on here in this here there is no debris it just the color of this is black but the oil is good so this is clean this truck has a good differential and all I'm going to do is I'm clean off all of the the gasket here and also on the cover and then put and clean it off with um, brake cleaner and a blue paper towel or something that you can use I use this blue paper towel with some brake cleaner or um, uh, well I use brake cleaner it works for me it's 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 great for that to clean all all, all of the debris off and the the, and the dry off all of the the oil on it so that the RTV gasket sticks and same on the cover put RTV gasket around and then put the cover on and then bolt it also cover the differential when you're cleaning off the gasket on the surface like up top here up top there um, the gasket will fall down into the differential so you don't want that uh, that's why you I need to cover it with a towel like this and so that no debris no like no no um, no trash goes in there or silicone gasket um, so, so that it's a clean job and also um, on the on the 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 cover here the fill plug is a rubber plug right here this right here is a rubber plug so always always replace that one because it it will leak in the future so always replace it. it's like five dollars or less for the plug on this bolt holes down here this one here this one up here this here this here and this one up here these when you're prying off the the, the, the cover oil will 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 drip out here right so it will drain out here and so oil is going to go in this in these holes um the lower holes um and if you don't clean it out when you put in the bolts you will have um rtv gasket on here um then when you put the bolts in it's going to squeeze out the oil and you'll mix oil with the with the RTV gasket and it may not seal so always uh, what I do is I, I spray brake cleaner in it in the holes I have spray brake cleaner and then I, I use a uh, um, compressed air to blow it out 
or if you don't have a, a compressor um, like me sometimes I don't have where to, to plug in my compressor because I'm a mobile mechanic and so I just um, use a paper towel and uh, just um, put paper towel in it and uh, and try to dry it out so I dry it out dry all of the brake cleaner out and all of the oil so that nothing here can no oil here can mix with the RTV gasket and I use this RTV gasket right here which is specifically for um, uh, differentials in transfer cases this right here is um, a thick uh, RTV gasket and it will seal re really well um, don't use don't use the the normal RTV gaskets on it because um, that will not work um, it would it will um, it will leak sooner than if you use this here okay time to time to do to put the fluid in just make sure your truck is at the, on a leveled uh, surface I'm using this um, limited slip supplement or it's just like it, it, um, it just eliminates noises such as chatter groans and squeals and things like that so put this in first and then the gear oil this is not a requirement you don't need to use it if you don't want to um, but um, I'm using it just so that it's a great job and also I'm using this pump here to pump in the, the fluid okay let's seal it let's put this on Clean it off. This. Oil here. done.